So we're going to be doing counting on, and the reason this is important for students is because we want them to be getting away from counting all. So if they had to add four spiders plus three spiders, instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we want them to be able to start with the larger number. So we already know we have four. Let's count three on from there. So we would say four, five, six, seven. We can also use a hundreds chart or a 120 chart to help us do this. So if we're doing five plus 14, like I said, we'd start with the bigger number, go to 14, and then we would count on from there. So we would say 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We can also use a number line to help us count on. So if we were doing, let's say eight plus four, we could start with eight, and then we would count on four more. So we would say eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We can also use this strategy for a larger number. So just like before, we would start with the bigger number 42 when adding 42 plus 33 and then we would actually start by counting on tens so we would do 42 plus 10 which would be 52 plus 10 more which would be 62 plus 10 more would be 72 so that's plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so that's all three tens and then we would need to count on three ones. So we have 72, 73, 74, 75. And we're able to do 42 plus 33 by counting on. Get older and they haven't learned how to count on. Oftentimes we see a problem when they get to something like this where they're adding three plus nine. And typically students who are trying to count all in this scenario would be using their fingers. But the problem is they won't have enough fingers to do this problem. So a great way to count on would be to put nine in my head. So nine's in my head and now I'm counting on from there. So 10, 11, 12. 